Badahari is good is bad is evil for two decades in the ring the golden boy k1 has earned a ferocious reputation as a killer over the years he has collected a collection of prestigious titles and turned into one of the most successful fighters Today you will find a chronicle of Badahari's victories. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. Dutch in the first generation, Bada was born on December 8, 1984, in a family of immigrants from Morocco. His father brought him to the kickboxing section. Seven-year-old Hari had to learn how to fight back against bullies. Soon he not only beat all the street hooligans, but also led them. However, as a teenager, Bada was lucky to get to Tom Herring, known as the godfather of the Dutch kickboxing school. His famous sport arena became the future Golden Boys House of War. Such fighters as Peter Ertz and Brant Sukekakic were forged in the same flame, so Hari was doomed to success. Thin build, not the most formidable appearance, did not prevent Coach Herring from delivering a powerful right kick to a two-meter student, and accurate kicks. By the age of majority, Bada had four dozen amateur performances under his belt and in 2002 went to conquer the professional stage in the status of a talented knockouter. The only difference was that I fought for money, not for free, but it was nice as Bada. At the same time, the Moroccan made his debut in mixed martial arts, where he lost in 22 seconds by humiliating strangulation. Hari did not return to MMA anymore and focused on his native discipline where his career was developing more successfully. Eighteen-year-old Bada in 2000 to reach the title of Dutch Maidai champion. At the same time, the reputation of a bad guy deservedly stuck to him. I immediately understood beat people and they will love you no matter what Bada once said. The Moroccan's achievements did not go unnoticed and in June 2003 he spoke out against Belarusian Alexei Ignasov. I have never seen so much money in my life and of course I agreed, thinking that he could knock me out said Hari. Red Scorpion was one of the best fighters and brutally beat the future ruler of K1 Sammy Schilt. Nevertheless, even an underweight of 18 kilograms did not prevent Bada from jumping over his head. Courage and youthful maximalism led Hari to the third round, where he still looked decent. But when Ignasov went to the aggravation, the superiority in the class made itself felt. Red Scorpion recorded a stop in the ninth minute. A strong blow to the body convinced the Moroccan not to get up. However, the big Belarusian brother helped the defeated. Having actually demonstrated its potential, Bada continued to gain experience with regional level rivals. For two more years, he did not leave the country and collected victories. The main event of 2004 was a meeting with Johan Saki. The Turkish Tyson justified the nickname with both brutal knockouts and an evil character in the ring. Since the start of the face-to-face -face confrontation, the fighters fought on equal terms. But the lanky Bada did not spend much time to indicate his superiority at a distance, and then he dropped the Saki with his right. Oh, 
Already at the end of the second round, the opponent refused to continue the fight. Hey, 2005 promised to be a breakthrough year, in which the fighter destroyed the sparring partner himself, Krokop. In June, Hari came out to Stefan Lech, who managed to justify his nickname Lightning. The burning eyes of the young guy did not frighten the experienced German, but in order to anger and drag him on the floor, Bada coped perfectly. The long-distance game quickly went out of the plans of the angry bad guy. But Lee can manage to recall his past as a karate student. A hard blow was delivered to the Moroccan's body by folding it on the flooring. Stefan did not deny himself and contemptuously spit at the impudent man. After experiencing the shame, the audience humanoid batted even more. From that moment on, he refused to perform under the Dutch flag and repatriated to his homeland. Also, Hari left his couch and went to train with Mike Pozenai. Simultaneously with the change of mentor, 20-year-old Bader received an invitation from K1. The main kickboxing organization in the world wanted to see his rematch with Leko in the reserve match of the next tournament. In the November 2005 meeting, Hari was only glad to have the opportunity to repay Stefan in full. Now he tried to keep his distance and actively defend himself. A series of piercing bad shots from the German forced the Moroccan to start forcing events. Having guessed the moment in the second round, the golden boy got even with Leko. One precise blow in an instant extinguished the lightning light. Revenge has never been so sweet. However, Bada showed his respect to the former enemy. On March 6th, Peter Graham was not impressed by loud words, and he besieged the youngster, saying that he had only one victory, and he needed to be more modest. Bada couldn't resist emotions in every sense. In the ring, The confrontation turned out great. In the first segment with long series, Graham led the meeting. In the second, the Australian began to get tired and Hari was sharper in his punches. At the end of the round, Peter made a couple of accurate punches. Bada did not understand the hint and in the last seconds of the battle, Graham loaded a live cartridge. With a virtuoso thunderclap blow, the Australian crushed Hari's chin into fragments, forcing him to remember every word he said. Only six months later, the Moroccan returned to the ring to fight Ruslan Karyev. After the downtime, the Russian was an ideal opponent to test Bada's current form. Feeling the pressure piled on, before the fight, Hari burned like a torch and aggressed on any occasion. In this state, he did not hesitate to threaten himself. He'll go to bed and never wake up again. However, the Moroccan started the fight with a restrained series of low kicks. Having decided on Karyev's mobility, he hoped to compensate for the lack of speed, but then ended the meeting. 
got chopped out by Paul Slowinski in the semi-finals. A rapid-fire combination in the red corner, and the kill... In less than a minute, wrestling suppressed resistance and made a series of low kicks to the head. Hari was defeated. I acted like a weak link, hoping that he would be disqualified. The hopes of the Dutch national team were not fulfilled, followed by a showdown right in the ring. The referee did not give in to persuasion, and the victory remained for Karyev. At a press conference, when he was asked a question, he said that Ruslan needed to take pillows with him. He would have to sleep in the ring. He regrets that he didn't take them for him, because he had to sleep. Bata did not resign himself and staged a brawl behind the scenes, almost got even the coach and comrades. It opened my eyes. I promised myself that I would always rise. The thirst for revenge brought the fighters together again in March 2007, and the fight received the status of a contender for the rematch. Hari built up muscle mass and striking power, vowing to arrange an incendiary fight. But at the start, it was Ruslan who rolled up an uncompromising cabin. Bata was aimed at counterattacks. Following the plan, he tried to act as the second number. In the second three minutes, Hari's composure began to bear fruit and Ruslan's face turned scarlet. But soon Ruslan got out of control. Karyev's left hand repeatedly caught up with the target until Hari was on the floor. When the gloves were already soaked with blood, the fight ended with a knockout. The thunderous right took the soul out of the body and Karyev collapsed into a knockout. The 37-year-old Moroccan met with Yusuf Fujimuta, with whom they played a belt in the K1 Championship in April. Already in the first seconds, the Golden Boy's opponent was distracted and did not notice the jab that flew right into his head. The Japanese got up, but Hari knocked the opponents out with one blow. Funeral high kick at the 56th second elevated Hari to the rank of the first regular king of K1 in the heavyweight division. Then Bata discussed the issues with Peter Graham. This time Hari completely controlled the distance, mercilessly hitting the upper body of the Australian. The vis-a-vis -vis course suffered especially, which the Moroccan shot from an unattainable distance. At the end, Graham could not stand the damage and sat down. In the final round, nothing saved the Australian. Following the results of three rounds, Bata won. Then Hari ruined Graham's neighbor from New Zealand. One touch of the right knocked down the New Zealander, and he could no longer stand up. This victory marked the end of Hari's early career. In just five years, he moved from the gloomy streets of Amsterdam to the color of the floodlights of the main arena of Tokyo. By massively knocking out opponents, the Moroccan got the opportunity to enter the short list of living icons of sports. Exactly on his 23rd birthday in 2007, he went to compete in the first World Grand Prix K1. Already in the quarterfinals, Badra was brought together with Remy Banyaski. Twice he won the Grand Prix of the organization. And in the ring, he personified the best athletes. In the confrontation, young Harry quickly confirmed his coolness. At first, the fighters fought on equal terms. Both fought a technical battle without restraining themselves at all in the force of the blow. In the third minute, Bada caught his rhythm, and in the attack took the end of the round.
However, in the second round, with each subsequent attack, he lost his pace. The previously missed low kicks affected. The left ledge suddenly betrayed Hari. After that, the Moroccan stood and endured. Remy turned on in the third round. Both of them needed the last round for a sure victory, so the fight quickly moved into the control room. The duel ended in an equal fight and in unrestrained blows to the delight of the audience. Following the results of the first performance, Hari conceded by the decision of the judges, but he did not remain the loser. Ray Sefo happened to be Hari's first opponent in 2008. He liked to make a show of fighting. The New Zealander was also known for touching death, able to send the best fighters of the planet into knockouts. No one denied his ability to hold punches, which he demonstrated in a gangster confrontation against Mark Hunt. According to many, it took a miracle for Bad Row to win in April. The redhead traditionally counted on a strong chin. The fight with kicks and punches started. Sefo did not refuse to please the audience. Finally getting down to business, in the first minute both tested themselves for strength. After the first knockdown, Hari continued to finish off his opponent. Sefo got up, but pressed into the corner of the ring. He was doomed. No one has ever stood under blows from Hari for so long. 2 minutes 43 seconds is the knockout time. The next challenge was Glaufitosa. The Brazilian became famous for his signature kick. And by June, he had made a lot of knockouts before the title fight with Hari. One of the fans of Fitosu expressed his rejection of the bad guy. Fuck you, Bata Hari. I hope you go For the Moroccan, it was the first defense of the belt, and he decided to beat the shit out of the Brazilian. Fitosu tried to recover, but his eyes failed him. The referee summed up the meeting. Bad a one. In August, Bada broke several of his own records. The performance was not only the shortest in his career, but also ended on the first stroke. Then Hari continued his ascent to the peaks of MMA. In September, the Moroccan had a fight with Khan Menchoi. The Korean giant, over 2 meters tall and weighing 150 kilograms, managed to fight even with the emperor of MMA, Fedor Emelianenko. And even the defeat did not reduce his respect in K1. He was also respected among kickboxers. Unlike many other giants, Choi knew how to fight. In the ring, Bada realized how much he was inferior physically. Therefore, in the opening of the meeting, he decided to rely on the advantages and speed. Oh 
launching a quick series of blows to the upper body. He immediately retreated after. Choi's core got even harder, which did not have time to defend itself. In the second round, Hari relaxed, for which he paid with a missed Korean punch. At the end of the round, he was forced to start dominating again. In the third, the Moroccan returned to hitting the opponent's liver, significantly slowing down Choi. Bada met the outcome of the duel in the attack. The Korean admitted defeat and Hari went to conquer the final K1 Grand Prix. December 5th and 6th, three victories in one evening gave Hari the status of the best puncher in the world and $400,000 in prize money. In the second quarter final, Peter Ertz was placed three-time K1 Grand Prix champion. He left his mark back in the 90s, making crushing knockouts. But, but by the end of the noughties, the Dutch fighter did not think to stop taking down the hands of opponents. His abilities did not interfere with the golden boy. In the first series of blows, Bada shook the veteran and knocked him down with blows. After the knockdown, Ertz managed to survive a tough finishing, again proving that there are no more like him. By the second minute, he even began to respond with attacks. Now Peter dominated the tired Bada. For a second, the fight became a sniper duel. But by the end of the round, the fighters again staged a battle. In the second segment, Hari remembered that he still had to win the Grand Prix. The situation began to develop not in the best way for the airmen. The Moroccan was not going to spare the former champion, who was already barely able to stand on his feet. And although the Dutch fighter was stronger than an oak tree, the referee did not let him die in the ring. After a dynamic performance against the legend, Bada found himself in the same second with a strong fighter, Relm Zimmerman. Coolly approaching the matter, Hari successfully smashed the opponent's body. Saving his strength, he calmly took the lead in the actions of the second number, but Zimmerman's overhand changed everything. The Moroccan shook himself and at the end of the second round, the case smelled of gunpowder. In the third round, the Moroccan was as heavy as possible in the exchanges of blows, so it is more accurate at a distance. In the final minute, Hari dropped Zimmerman for the last time with his kick. That evening, Bada's right straight punch hit without a miss and without pity. The drama played out in the final. The untouchable Remy Bayanyaski, earlier that evening, first broke the arm of Fat Libo Nero and then cruelly defeated Gyukin Saki. In the rematch, Bada and Remy were going to show the fight of the evening. Usually, Banyaski started his performances slowly, but here with a left sidekick, he made an exception. Having fallen and miraculously dodged the kick of the Flying Dutch, Hari moved to recoup. The second round was marked by a brutal attack by a Moroccan. When he smelled blood, he couldn't stop. Oh, 
with increased adrenaline. Bat imagined that he was performing in the pride promotion. According to the rules of the MMA, he added stem to the blows. In fact, Boniaski suffered more morally. Disqualification automatically turned into the defeat of the Grand Prix for the bad guy, the loss of prize money, as well as the deprivation of the regular champion belt. It's my fault. I gave him the victory, and he accepted it. Bari said. However, the main star of the organization was not thought to be removed. LS Star Averin, who performs in MMA, accepted Bada's challenge to fight in K1 without any problems. MMA is complete shit. Guys just hug each other. K1 is real fights and real knockouts. If Alistair is ready to fight like a man, then I will knock him out. Two Destroyer at that time was already considered one of the best strikers in mixed fights with a steep record from knockouts. Moreover, he was a native of kickboxing, where he actively fought. Conflict was immediately picked up and on December 31st, 2008, the fighters found themselves in the ring. However, Averin at the peak, it turned out to be difficult to cope with. Each of his blows took him off the spot. Discouraged by the opponent's strength, Ani hit Bada, brought down the Moroccan, who finally lost in the dynamics, with a short left side kick. For the first time in his career, Hari lost in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But this was only the beginning of their confrontation. I entered the ring. I thought it was an easy fight, but when I saw him, I understood. Okay, this guy is a machine. 2009 Bada will also hold without a single decision of the judges. The calendar started with a warm-up match with a fighter nicknamed the Belgian Undertaker. Exactly at the same time, the meeting with Samadov, who came out in the rank of the European champion K1, ended. Since last year, Bada has gained some weight in combat and in battle he easily dropped Samadov with every blow he invested in. He was especially able to punch through the hall. Blow to the liver in the third minute completed everything. Once again Hari confirmed that no one in the world is capable of hitting like him. In May of the ninth year, Sammy Shield had a chance to see this. Today, the Dutch heavyweight with a height of 211 century M is considered the greatest kickboxer. During his career, he won the K1 Grand Prix four times, which was not possible either before or after it. A jab from Sammy did not bode well for any puncher, and his left front was complemented by a kick capable of breaking through the most pumped press. In the arena where he was booed four years ago, Bada was as cool as ever. The cross block with his foot completely disabled Sammy's kick. The overhand on top of the jab did not let you relax either. Hari staged a real beating. Sammy survived only thanks to the ropes, and Bada could only develop success away from the fence. A brilliant plan and an incomparable execution brought him the main victory in his career. Ahead of the Moroccan was waiting for the 2009 Grand Prix. The 34-year-old golden boy on the threshold of his 25th birthday has done substantial work in the gym. In December, he showed 105 kilograms on the scales for the first time and was ready to hunt. In the quarterfinals, Bada came together with Karayev in a fundamental confrontation. 35 it was expected that Ruslan would have the advantage in speed, but the fight showed the opposite. In a series of hooks Ruslan lost by 38 seconds.
trilogy against Karayev went to the Moroccan. In the semi-finals, an old acquaintance solist are ever in was waiting for Harry. I promise he won't last three rounds in a rematch, Bata said. In battle, the Dutchman also confirmed that he is still healthy. But this time Bata was disciplined and worked better with his feet. Keeping his distance, he made body punches. Seeing the opponent's uncertainty, Hari launched his right. Mike Chevella met the finishing blows on the voice acting with Jinyu in tears. According to the rule of two knockdowns, Bata closed this story as well. In the final, the Moroccan was met by Amy Schilt. On its way, the Dutch skyscraper defeated Fatley Boehner. He also defeated Remy Banyaski. Only one victory separated Hari from the championship title. Wanting to repeat the success of the first meeting, he immediately attacked Sammy. But moving away from the game plan, the Moroccan forgot about the front kick block. On the machine, Bata lowered his hands after the second kick that flew in front and immediately missed. Being already shaken, Harry missed the high kick. Bata knew how to get out of such situations, but not this time. A series of blows ended the duel, the final word, as well as a record fourth Grand Prix champion title, remained behind the shield. This defeat changed Bata forever. Over the previous two years, Harry performed 14 times, destroying almost all the K1 fighters in the exchanges. Win or lose, not a single fight came to a decision. But on the eve of his 25th birthday, having reached the absolute peak of his career, he was never able to pick up the most cherished title in his career. Next year, the Moroccan had a rematch with Alexei Evnasov. The Belarusian, who had never lost by knockout, took all the blows that Hari was capable of. After three dominant rounds, Harry met the decision with a win. After that, Bada practically did not perform in K1 and moved to Showtime. Defending his championship title for the first time, he easily dealt with his opponent in two rounds with a series of blows. However, against Hesdi Herdas, the regalia did not linger on the bad guy's waist. At first, Bada interrupted the opponent cleanly. Nevertheless, in the second round, the Moroccan again gave vent to emotions. Having violated the holy commandment of drummers not to hit a recumbent, Hari lost his belt by disqualification. I screwed up again. Shit happens is how Hari reacted to it. From that moment on, Bata became an infrequent guest in the ring due to lost motivation and several prison sentences for regular violations of law and order. 14 fights he scored only in the next nine years. Nevertheless, natural data, time after time, brought him victories. The slaughter of the Saki Gecko in 2012 was especially spectacular. Gokan blocked the side well, and Bata knocked him down with an uppercut. Twice the Turk fell and rose. At the end of three minutes, Saki was on canvas for the last time, again catching an accurate uppercut.
Hari also managed to perform several times in Russia. In the 13th year, he lost heavily in the battle with Samadov. Spectacular rehabilitation took place at the tournament in Grozny. In the second half of the 10th, Bada almost did not perform. But in the 16th year in the promotion glory participated in the most important fights of the decade. Becoming the main promotion in the world of kickboxing, Glory brought Harry together with its champion Rick Verhoeven. By this time, the Dutch athlete was called the best puncher of the planet. Rick was an amazing puncher from the new school. He was predicted an easy victory over 32-year-old Hari. Despite everything, the golden boy showed something inexplicable in the ring. Badada was more precisely a jab. Punched the hull. He was better. But it caused him to catch a wave in the second round. The return to the top was interrupted by an injury. Having injured his right hand, the Moroccan was unable to continue. The disappointing defeat was a disappointment for me. However, it opened up the possibility for monetary revenge. You did a good job, but today I'm ready to take an oath. I gave you credit, but now I don't care. I swear next year I will knock you out, said Bada. As expected, the promised had to wait three years. The most anticipated kickboxing rematch took place only in the 19th year. And what an event it was. Verhoeven was obliged to take the next round. Having started an attack, he returned to defense again. In the middle of the second ledge, Bada missed a series of low kicks that injured his left ledge. But that didn't stop him from getting a knockdown in the third round. The outcome of the meeting was summed up seconds later. After injuring his ankle during his favorite kick from a U-turn, Bada stopped the fight. As of June 2022, Bada has not won a single victory in the last six years. At the same time, he led in every duel in which he participated. Rematch with Hesdi Georges, Bada took both at a distance and in close combat with blows to the body. The victory already won was cancelled, and the fight was declared invalid. Hashley attacked Benjamin Boy, but the last knockdown remained for him, as well as the victory over Hari. Finally, in 2021, the Polish giant fell to the floor from every blow of batter. Three times Hari hit him in the liver. Three times Drosek fell. I was ready to fall into the fourth. This high kick became the greatest comeback in the history of kickboxing. Total bad luck pursued Bada. The rematch took place on March 19, 2022. Before the start of the third round, due to riots between fans in the hall, the fight and the rest of the tournament were cancelled by the organizers for security reasons. In the second round, Brizzo Sex and Hari into a knockdown with a knee to the jaw. He did not miss a single blow himself and won on points at the end of two rounds. A draw was declared in the duel, and Vers Hosek was dismissed from the organization. Vers Hosek and his team were shocked by this decision and appealed for victory, considering him a deserved winner and calling the announced result irrelevant to sports. Subsequently, Glory even cancelled the draw altogether, leaving the duel without a result. 
Badahari is one of the most controversial fighters in the world of kickboxing. The main character of historical confrontations. With his fights, he helped key promotions rise to industry leaders. Outside the ring, Bada has lived as a street bully for too long. Bouts of recklessness stopped him on the very threshold of the elite club of champions of the K1 Grand Prix. Nevertheless, 92 knockouts and 106 victories made the golden boy a favorite of the public and one of the key figures in the history of kickboxing. In each visit to the ring, he left behind bodies and destruction or fell himself. A bad guy and a golden boy in one person, who is loved by many. Did you like the documentary? Please, subscribe to my channel. See you again. I'd like to take this chance to apologize. Absolutely nobody!